from Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Friday, August 2nd, 2013. In the news, the city of Galena has been awarded a $900,000 grant from the federal government to help the remote village recover from last spring's devastating flooding. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development grant will allow residents to reconnect to city water and sewer service. The agency says in a release that the money will also help rebuild the estimated 105 homes that were either destroyed or made uninhabitable. This is an imminent threat grant which can be provided in unique and non-recurring situations. An ice jam in May on the Yukon River backed water into Galena. The official filing period for municipal election races opened yesterday. Those wanting to run for offices in the borough or city of Fairbanks have until August 15th to sign up. The city of Fairbanks mayor's post is up for election this year. There are three open seats on the borough assembly and three on the school board. As of yesterday, John Eberhardt and Vivian Stiver had filed to run for Fairbanks city mayor. And the Alaska Division of Forestry has reopened all personal use firewood cutting areas on state lands in the Fairbanks area. Logging roads that had provided public access to these areas were closed to cutting due to the high fire danger. While human caused fires continue to be of concern statewide, Fairbanks area conditions have moderated enough that the area wide closure is no longer necessary. For information about the required permits, maps of woodlots, and details on reopened areas, see this story on our website at webcenter11.com. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. A great way to start the fair today. Mostly sunny, highs in the lower to mid 80s. Tonight, mostly clear with lows in the lower to mid 50s. Tomorrow, it's increasing clouds with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And the extended outlook is mostly cloudy Sunday through, uh, through Thursday. Chance of rain Monday and Tuesday and highs staying in the mid to upper 70s. Sounds pretty good. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Have a great weekend.